the merchants of chaos, dealing confusion and upset. The daily bread is made by creating chaos. If chaos were to lessen, so would the incomes. The politician, the reporter, the psychiatrist with his electric shock machine, the drug manufacturer and the arms manufacturer, the police and the undertaker, to name the leaders of the list, fatten only upon the dangerous environment. It is to their interest to make the environment seem as threatening as possible. For only then can they profit. Their incomes, force and power rise in direct ratio to the amount of threat they can inject into the surroundings of the people. For instance, we speak loosely of good press. Is there any such thing today? Look over a newspaper. Is there anything good on the front page? Rather, there's murder and sudden death, disagreement and catastrophe. And even that, bad as it is, is sensationalized to make it seem worse. This is the cold-blooded manufacture of a dangerous environment. People do not need this news. And if they did, they need the facts, not the upset. But if you hit a person hard enough, he can be made to give up money. That's the basic formula of extortion. As truth goes forward, lies die. The slaughter of lies is an act that takes bread from the mouth of a chaos merchant. Unless he can lie with wild abandon about how bad it all is, he thinks he will starve. The world simply must not be a better place, according to the chaos merchant. So long as politicians move upward on scandal, police get more pay for more crime, medicos get fatter or more sickness, there will be merchants of chaos. These lines were written in 1965 by L. Ron Hubbard, who devoted his life to developing a technology that would liberate people from the hands of the merchants of fear. What happened to him and his philosophy? The group he founded, Scientology, has been taken over by these traders of fear and transformed into a manipulative sect whose mission it is to abuse the philosophy and techniques he developed and to destroy the group's reputation. This is what happens to most groups who have the courage to get into the way of the merchants of chaos and fear. They're ridiculed, destroyed or taken over. Fortunately, there were a few brave people who managed to preserve the original technology which has given so many people freedom. This philosophy is now freely available to all people who want to improve themselves and their lives. Available to people like you who want to free themselves and their loved ones from the clutches of the manipulators. In the Ron's Org, you will find this original life improvement philosophy. We should not hate these merchants of fear, because that way leads only to the destruction of our own happiness. Instead, we should confidently free ourselves from their lies and aim to live a happy and fulfilled life. Happiness and strength endure only in the absence of hate. To hate alone is a road to disaster. To love is a road to strength. To love in spite of all is the secret of greatness. And may very well be the greatest secret in this universe.